What's up everybody? Collector Kev here, back again with another video, and for today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite emulators, and that is XMU. This is an Xbox original emulator, and one of my favorites to go back and play, and not only just play some of my favorite games on my PC, but play them upscaled in a higher resolution and better quality. What you're looking at right now is the compatibility list. It's got a large compatibility. There's tons of games available that you can play, and there's tons of options. The compatibility list is pretty up there. I'd say like 80, 90% of games are playable, if not perfect. Only a few that aren't able to be played or be able to be booted into. But as time goes on, those always get improved and those always change. So I'm sure over time more will be added. Because last time I did a video on this, a lot of these games weren't added and a lot of features weren't added. There's a link in the description down below. Go ahead and grab it. I'm downloading it for Windows. Download it for whatever system you have. For me, I have a Windows, so that's what I'm going to do. Go ahead and export all your zip files and that kind of stuff, and then launch the main emulator just like this. You're going to be greeted with this menu. You're going to click Settings, and inside of Settings, what you're going to want to do is you need to go online. I can't provide these files, but you're going to want to go online and get these files right here. These are the firmware and BIOS files that are going to allow you to be able to launch that Xbox and basically make the emulator think it's running an Xbox and have all the proper software needed. So once you're able to go online and find those, go ahead and just add the directory to wherever you kept them and exported them. That way this Xbox emulator can locate them and use them. There's a ton of settings. One of the, my favorite things right away is the internal resolution scale and you are able to go way up and upscale it, smooth it out and make it look way better. So I like to go at like a 3, 4x so it doesn't look too crazy and also so it doesn't affect the gameplay as much. I'm also going to put it at my native resolution. I'm rocking 2560 by 1440 monitors. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, set that up. Go ahead and have it however you like or to match your monitors or your setup. And once you have that set up, you can go ahead and just exit. And now when you relaunch it, it's going to read the firmware and BIOS that you inputted it with and all the settings and now launch it perfectly ready to go. And as you can see, you got that classic Xbox logo and sound right here. You're going to be greeted with this message. Please insert an Xbox disc. Again, I can't provide any games or anything like that. Check the compatibility list. See what games I want. Add them to my library. And I'll show you how to do that right now. There's a huge list of playable, like I said in the beginning of the video, a huge list of playable, some of them even perfect. So we're just going to pick some of our favorites. Most of the classics are ready to go, Halo, all that stuff. Definitely ready to play, and that's a clutch. So we're going to grab Dragon Ball Z Sagas, we're going to grab some Batman, uh, grab a couple other things. So yeah, let's get into it. Once you have your games, you're just going to simply go to Load Disk, find the directory to wherever you kept your disk, your ISO file, Go ahead and insert the disk, exit out. You're going to need to exit it out. And once you're relaunched, it's going to load the disk, load the firmware, load everything you set it up with, and you're going to be right into the game just like that. And I went with a classic Jet Set Radio. I first played this on the Dreamcast, but I do remember playing it on the Xbox as well because the Dreamcast unfortunately did not last that long. It really only lasted about a year. So, yeah. I do remember playing it on the Xbox. It looks great. I have it at about a 3, 4x upscale, running at 1440p. Frame rate is consistent. Frame rate is better. Graphics are better. And quality is overall better. So I'm going back. I'm playing some of the classics, checking some out that I missed, and then playing them at a better resolution and a better quality and more stability. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this summer you're able to enjoy this emulator. Check it out. Links in the description down below. I hope this video did help. If it did, let me know in the comments down below what games are you playing this summer, this fall, whenever you're watching this video. Let me know. I'd love to know. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. This is Collector Kev. I'll see you on the next video, and I'm out.